All right, so today is the day we get to test the new setup here. Um, got some boards in stock. We've got 19 boards to fulfill today. 19 boards. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great test of the new layout, see if it's faster. I'm really excited to see how this is going to work. This is so nice already. I got both lasers going. I have a place to put boards. When they're finished, they go on the finishing table, which doesn't interrupt Jenny making boxes. It's just, this is already a much better layout than what it was before. And it's only been like 20 minutes and we're almost halfway done with all the engravings. It's bananas how much faster we're going now. Bananas. Do you buy green bananas or yellow bananas? I used to like bananas, like when they got spots on them because there was more sugar, they were sweeter, but now I like a nice yellow banana, no green. Let me know what kind of bananas you like. I love this, just operating the machines. I love being an operator. I love having a bunch of work to do, a machine and equipment to do it with. I just, I love being an operator. It's so much fun when you're the master of your equipment and you can just get stuff done super fast. I could do this 40, 50 hours a week and never get sick of it. All of my jobs in the military were operator jobs and I'm so glad I did that instead of a silly desk job. But like with nuclear missiles, I was always operating and, and getting maintenance done on it and coordinating everybody that needed to be on site. When I'm in a hurricane, I'm looking through the data and I'm trying to get the machines to work correctly and send all the data across the airwaves to the National Hurricane Center. It's just, I love being an operator. Hello. The fruits of my labor. I'm proud. Newsflash, I'm an idiot. So I was doing both Glowforges at the same time. I was getting kind of confused on the computer. Well, we have a name for each printer and they're named Glowforge 1 and Glowforge 2. So I thought, okay, I'll just take a Sharpie and I'll write Glowforge 1. I'll put a number one on this one and I'll put a number two on this one. You know, number one, number two, and I won't get it confused. Well, I didn't double check and they're actually named number two, number one. And you can't go into the Glowforge software and edit the names yourself. You have to email customer support to change the name. So I sent a very, very nice email to the customer support person. Hopefully they change the names for us because um, I'm an idiot. All right, well, we are finally done with all the boxes. What do we do, 17? No, it being 19. 19, because we had two more come in randomly and we want to take tomorrow off. So we had to get those done today. <laughs> but 19 boards and it's only, what, 215? So we did it and that was with taking lunch. That was with taking breaks. That was with a couple boards um, needed to be redone for whatever reason. The couple boards needed to be redone for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited, super happy with how fast and streamlined this new system is, man, it's just fantastic. And once we get the Glowforge name sorted out, it'll be even faster. I don't wanna. Brucey, how do you do it? How do you wake up with this much energy? Can we not sleep in? Can we put no, the, let's go, we'll hurry up. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna do a fit check. That's what the kids are doing these days. So, shoes are from Nike. These shorts are from Express. The shirt is from Carhartt. They used to be a sponsor, but they won't call us back anymore. Oh, bracelet, that's from St. Croix, the Virgin Islands. Silicone wedding ring from Amazon. Cat from a gas station in North Dakota. $20, no questions asked. We tried to adopt, but they wanted like a background check, a social security number, like a credit check. It's like, I'm not adopting a kid, I just want a cat. So we just went to the gas station next door. We have arrived. Okay. All right, so first thing we do when we get into the office is we put our lunch away in the fridge and then we uh, get ready for the morning show. Top of the morning to ya, indeed. To ya. <laughs> to ya. To ya. Happy, Happy Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday, indeed. How could we forget? Cool. What is what is the morning show, Jenny? It's a fun and positive way to take your day by storm. But basically, what we See mean the by pun that there, because we're hurricane hunters, take your day by storm. LOL. But uh, basically, what we mean by that is we want to wake up and get together with some really cool people who are like-minded, who all just want to start their day off on the right foot. And now it's time for every YouTuber's favorite slash least favorite activity. Thumbnails are so hard because you think you've got a really good idea for one and then it totally flops. And sometimes you, you make a guess and it goes poorly and there's just no way to know. It's, it's crazy. It's like your boss always tells you that they're not pleased with your work, but they give you absolutely no help on what you need to improve on. So, yeah. so our idea, the video is about work-life balance. You know, you already saw it last week, but the idea is work life balance so we're going to show in the shop and then we're going to put bruce on the cart here and i'm going to be overwhelmed with business and jenny is going to be hugging bruce so you're going to see work and life balance. but mostly work but mostly work <laughs> i don't know that's as far as we got with the idea maybe it'll work yeah. stay <laughs> all right hard nice. part's done it's a huge difference between a thumbnail that's well lit and a thumbnail that looks dim. Big, big difference. That's gonna be the angle there. And should look familiar. So there's a saying that everybody has their two cents. Apparently that's what your opinion is worth. But what if somebody has experience doing what you're doing? Isn't their opinion worth a little bit more than the standard two cents? Does 75 cents sound unreasonable for an informed, experienced opinion? I don't know about you, but 75 cents is way cheaper than learning it the hard way and screwing it up on my own. In the stud stack, we have over 100 business owners willing to share their experience and opinions with you. When you subscribe for $75 a month, you get unlimited access to over 100 business owners' professional opinions. That works out to less than 75 cents for each perspective that you're gaining. Ask as many questions as you want. Post videos, post pictures, ask questions on how to optimize your shop, whatever you may need. We also post extra videos. We do big giveaways and we do virtual hangouts. It's a really great time. Only the people who are serious about learning, sharing, and making money are in the community. It's not for everybody. We know there's free groups out there, but Sometimes you get what you pay for. If you're interested, there's a link below the like button in the description. Otherwise, you can just go right to studstack.net to jump in. Hello, today we got slammed with an order for 15 board fulfillments. Um, There's a new realtor Jenny just sold to. Super excited she wants all the boards, but today's supposed to be our day off and now we have 15 boards to do. So, it's just how it goes sometimes, but.
we have a problem with one of the glow forges right now. The couple boards need to be redone for whatever reason. Um, let me show what it's doing. See how it's wavy and just a bit weird? I did that to like four or five boards. It almost looks like it's like skipping a tooth and then unskipping a tooth later in the engraving. I don't know what it's doing, but that's why we bought two glow forges. Um, when that happened, we didn't really have the time to stop what we were doing and come and fix the laser. And we just had to go down to one laser and that's great. Like I know these glow forges are expensive, but there's a reason we bought two of them. And that was so one could be a backup for the other one. For us, the engraving is what sells these boards. Obviously it's not the build quality, it's the engraving. And so if we lose our engraver, we lose our business. So have duplicates for stuff like that. The printer head is wiggling. It's like, it's not locked in. Both of these little pulleys right here are split half in two. I hope that's an easy replacement part to find. But yeah, both of these little, uh, where it slides along the guide track are broken and that's why it kept wiggling while it was going back and forth. Well, we'll see how easy these parts are to replace. And man, let me tell you, I know this is Glowforge number two, but I think this is the first one we had. We put a lot of miles on this Glowforge. So after two and a half years, I am not upset about how much it's, uh, yeah. We've always said glow forges are great to figure out if a laser is good for your business. It's obviously not a production level machine, even though we're using it that way. Um, but I don't know, if we keep starting to have a lot of problems like this, then maybe it'll be time to upgrade the laser. But if these parts are cheap enough to replace, then we'll just keep on trucking. Ride her till she bucks, I guess. Well, that was anticlimactic. I set up a time-lapse for me to do computer work to look for the part and I already found it on Glowforge's website. All right, well, that was easy enough. Replacement parts have been ordered and they were already paid for because I had a Glowforge gift card apparently, so that was cool. Um, but I put this piece of paper on the Glowforge. That way nobody accidentally turns it on when it's taken apart. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I love it when we have problems like this because they just go so smoothly. Yes, it's a problem. Am I upset that the Glowforge isn't working a little bit, but I'm more excited that we thought ahead and we dealt with this and we don't have to lose sleep over the fact that we can't ship out boards the next couple of days because we have a second Glowforge. Just proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Probably. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan. Stick to the 